Investigators looking into that collision at JFK Airport this week are now taking a closer look at the size of airport runways across the country and whether they can really accommodate those new supersized planes, which seat more than 500 people. John Berman has more on the new safety concerns. It was like an ocean liner hitting a dinghy. The Airbus A380, as tall as a seven-story building with a wingspan as wide as a city block, spinning the small commuter jet like it was a toy. All the emergency trucks the pipe was been hit by uh, Air France. The smaller jet had just landed and was heading down a taxiway to its gate. Sources tell ABC News the pilot stopped short, not pulling far enough forward, possibly to avoid a pickup truck passing by. At just that moment, the Air France A380 was heading down an intersecting taxiway, and that's when its left wing clipped the small plane's tail. Look at the twisted metal left behind. One target of the investigation might be the width of the taxiway. Federal guidelines call for 100 feet, but JFK got an exemption. It's just 75 feet. Pilot Dave Marchese has been flying in and out of JFK for years and says the congestion during taxiing is getting worse. The taxiing is very important because you have active runways, you have people taking off and landing, you have other planes taxiing around, and if you don't give it the respect it deserves, you can get in a lot of trouble. It may seem safer in the air, but this is what it looked like in Rhode Island when a United flight got lost on the ground. They have a United, he doesn't know where the hell he is. That same year, a harrowing near miss in Chicago. Stop! And John Berman also reports that only 13 airports in the country can accommodate the A380 jumbo jet, and this problem isn't going away. More airports are getting waivers to receive Boeing's new jumbo jet.